you know, what you gonna do? Amazing. Oh, I already said this. Hello, everybody. So it has been a little while since I made a video. This past weekend, my back locked up real bad. But here I am. And I wanted to make a more personal video. Someone had commented and said, since you're so new at this, we want to know more about you. And I was kind of waiting until I had like more subscribers. I really saw their point and I was like, oh, that's a really good point. I'll make like a more personal video now. So this is 50 facts about me. I met my husband at an Olive Garden. I was a server and I served him and his parents and it was like instant connection between all three of them. I absolutely love his family. It was June 12th, 2009 when I met them on a Friday afternoon and they are the most amazing people ever. I am dedicated to my YouTube channel. I am in this for the long haul, people, because I know that people out there who have six digit subscribers have been doing this for a couple years. So I am committed. I have a really weird thing about the dishwasher and about how it's loaded and just dishes in general. Like, I have to let cups dry completely before I can stack them inside of each other because if not, then it's like this sealed, moist grossness that like grows bacteria and in my mind it's just not, it's just not okay. I like to nibble on candy, okay? I, sometimes, this might sound, this might, this is gonna sound really weird. Sometimes a gummy bear is just too much. I'm addicted to leggings. In the summer, I wear like leggings and sandals and tank tops, long tank tops. And the winter, well, you know the drill, leggings, sweaters, boots. I have a major fear of bugs or anything that's like creepy crawly in general. It's losing track of bugs. Like I have a hard time falling asleep if I've lost track of a bug in my house and haven't found it and had Blake kill it. I have an awful fear of needles, in particular shots. I have an extremely fast walking pace. It, no matter if I'm in a hurry, if I'm not, especially if I'm on a mission. If you see me come and admire, move over. I will mow you over. <laughs> not really, but I do walk really fast. I play guitar and piano, uh, both instruments I love, 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 love. When it comes to scary movies, uh, specifically horror movies, I don't get it. I tried to watch them and they are just not enjoyable. I do not find them enjoyable whatsoever. I do not like getting the pee scared out of me. I sing. I have sung since I was a little kid, ever since I can remember. And what I love, love, love to do is harmonize. But since you asked, I'll sing for you. As long as I'm here, as long as you love me, and give me that old school love right now. My true family is my in-laws. Yes, my in-laws, my husband's family, is are some of the most amazing loving, kind people I have ever met in my life, and they are for sure my favorite people in the world and will always be. In college, I was a math and a music major. I know it's weird to have both, but a lot of aspects of music are actually very mathematical, so it makes a lot more sense than it might sound. Uh, kids. Yeah, I want kids someday. I've been married for three and a half years, Blake and I have. And we really want kids like in the next few years, so I can't wait. It'll be like such a fun adventure and I can't wait to meet our future little itty bitty bubbies. We're gonna be obsessed parents. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna, just gonna be insane. In school, I was a great student. School made sense to me and I know it doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but I was also like a, a tutor too and I taught people how to learn and how to study and how they can make the most of their time, their class time, their study time, all that stuff. I do eventually want a tattoo on this wrist. I want to get Choose Love tattooed right here. And among other tattoos that I want, I eventually want like a bird's tattoo. I have a feeling that once I get my first one, it'll be a slippery slope, like everybody says. 
I played volleyball in high school. That was my sport in junior high and high school. I loved it. I actually um, look back on those times, especially in high school, and I miss them so much. My husband, Blake, is my true best friend forever. He's my BFF. Uh, ever since we started dating, we've been inseparable, and we just can't get enough of each other. Like, we never get sick of each other. He's just the greatest. Uh, makeup wise, I am completely 100% YouTube taught. I have been watching YouTube for almost a year now on how to do makeup and tutorials and all those things. And I've learned so much. The number one person who has taught me the most is Lisa Eldridge. If you've never seen her videos, go right now. I don't even care if you stop watching this video to go see her, just go see her. Like. She is amazing, an amazing celebrity makeup artist. She's done countless Vogue covers all over the world. She is just phenomenal. The true definition of class and professionalism and amazingness. I play quite a few band instruments. I am self-taught on these too. I started in band in fifth grade with the clarinet. And when I got braces in seventh grade, I was convinced that I couldn't play clarinet anymore, mostly because I just wanted a flute. And I got a flute, like 20 bucks at a garage sale, and I taught myself flute, and I switched to that in band. Saxophone was really easy for me to learn, too. I also learned trumpet, tuba, uh, piccolo, that's all. I cut my own bangs as a kid. I really remember this. I stood in front of, a, like, a floor-length mirror, and I took these little safety scissors and I just started cutting my bangs. And right after I cut the first time, I was like, well, they're crooked. I need to fix it. So I fixed it. And then I was like, well, they're still crooked. I kept doing this until my hair was like this long sticking out from my head. I want so badly someday to have like some sort of a pocket sized furry animal. I don't know. Just the thought of having like a cute little fuzzy animal that I can hold in my hands. Like, oh my gosh, that's just, uh, I want one. I want one. Speaking about pets, I do have three dogs. Two of them are very big. The other one's right here. She's been in other videos of mine. She's my buddy. She follows me everywhere. We call her my shadow because she just follows me everywhere I go. The other two are bigger. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them. And they're like two giant teddy bears. We have a boy and a girl. They're brother and sister. And they are just the best dogs in the world. We're obsessed with our dogs. I like all types of music. I especially like, um, like r rap and R&B and hip hop, things like that. I, I really like that type of music. I also love like acoustic, just all sorts of music. My musical tastes are all over the place. I'm not even gonna get started. I once worked retail a few years ago for a few years in a mall and for that reason I sometimes have trouble getting into the Christmas spirit. Anyone that's worked retail during the holidays, you feel me. I dye my own hair and I have had some disasters that I have learned how to fix, but I'm pretty confident moving forward about continuing to dye my own hair because this is not easy to get right here, and I've gone through a lot of trial and error, and if I made videos on it, it might be, have to be like a three-part series just because there's so much with, with like the right way to do things, the right products to use, and most of all, damage control. I am an online shopper. I love shopping online more than in stores. I have like, uh, it's an issue. Like, just knowing I get something in the mail that hasn't been touched or tried on, I have, like, this weird OCD-ness about, and I just like that, th that what I get is brand new. I don't know. Don't judge me. <laughs> the number one place I want to travel in the world is Europe. I've never been there, but I have dreamt of it since I was a kid. I studied it in college in a, like, really intensive geography class. And I am just, I feel like my heart belongs in Europe. My husband says I have magic hands. I always say that I listen with my fingers when I give him massages. And he has a really bad back and a lot of back pain. And so I've been able to actually like really help him with his back pain a lot of times because I'm pretty good at giving back massages um, and foot massages. But like 
most importantly, just like troubled backs. I can feel out knots and like know how to release knots and things like that. So I deal with headaches quite often. I have uh, migraine headaches that I suffer from and tension headaches. Uh, yeah, it's just a part of my life. One place where I have no fear and I've never had fear is on stage. I sing and play guitar and I did it a lot in my teens. And uh, the stage is somewhere where I just get really calm and centered and just uh, at ease. Like there's no pressure on me whatsoever. I just love singing for myself most of all. And then whoever else happens to be there is there. And uh, I just, you know, make a point of like enjoying myself as much as I can just doing what I do. I just love music. I've dealt with pretty bad depression and anxiety in my life. And they are both things that I have overcome. Yeah. I am a shoe addict. I worked at a Nine West for a while. And in that amount of time, I succeeded at collecting quite a few shoes. My favorite movie has, I've have to, I would have to say Forrest Gump. I love Forrest Gump. In fact, I can like quote some scenes. My favorite drink right now is lemon ginger tonic. You juice ginger and then you juice some lemon and then you mix that juice with like some honey and hot water and it is amazing. I've really struggled with self-confidence um, a lot of my life, uh, especially growing up. I wasn't confident who I am, who I was. I was this tall, gangly, skinny girl that never quite fit in, and um, I had a really hard time like finding my niche. And um, I, I also had like hard times in social situations, and. Um, that leads me to, I was a very shy kid growing up. I did not like talking to strangers. I did not like meeting new people. I was terrified of anything social. And uh, obviously I've gotten over that. I have extremely vivid dreams. Um, I dream in color. I dream with music. I dream about like so many things I'll wake up and I'll feel like my mind will feel tired from dreaming so much like it's that crazy not every night but but some nights I am on a journey right now to find my voice who I really am who the true Beth is and I have come to really enjoy connecting with myself um, things I love to do is like to go on a walk or to um, listen to really good music and turn off all the electronics in my life and just put some music on, light some candles. Like that's how I hit the reset button and just find me in whatever craziness is happening in my life. I love listening to music any time of the day. In fact, I always have a song in my head no matter what, even in my dreams, 24 seven, it just keeps on going. I have discovered lately that I can rap. Yeah, I can rap. Okay, so it's still like a talent in the making, but I will be doing a YouTube music video soon where I do rap. Um, I don't know how soon, but it'll be on my music channel. I'll link that below. I do have a music channel. What I call my everyday uniform consists of leggings, these long tunics that I get at Meijer. Um, that are amazing. I get my leggings at Meyer too. That is the place to go for basics. And then I wear these um, like v-neck longer shirts from Target that are like uh, kind of like a, a drapey tunic and uh, they're kind of like oversized so they're kind of longer too and basically that's what I wear almost all the time. I had braces and two surgeries for my mouth growing up. That's how much work these teeth took. So I've gone through quite a bit of pain in that area for this. I have recently, in the past couple years, I've become a sports person. I started watching football more often and now I've really gotten into football. Like I really love football and basketball, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't love basketball? And it helps that I I have adopted my husband's teams, so like we cheer them on together. It's a lot of fun. I have a giant leopard blanket. It's like a king size blanket and I take it everywhere with me. I will not even fly across the country without taking this stupid blanket with me. I got it two or three years ago for Christmas. My mother-in-law gave it to me and I 
have loved it so much. In fact, when I'm around my family, I'll wrap it around myself and walk around the house in my blanket. And they all call me, or my husband calls me Corella DeVille, just because it's so hilarious. Like, it, it like stretches for days. And I, I have it with me all the time. I have really bad eyesight. I really want to get LASIK someday, but for now, contacts are doing just fine. I was a tomboy growing up. I loved playing in the backyard and like mixing dinner up, which was like mud and like grass and weeds and whatever else. I had a fort that I would like sweep the floor of and and it was just like this nice little clean little oasis in the side of our yard and I loved it. You'd never guess it now because I'm like the ultimate girly girl, but yes, I was a tomboy. The person that makes me laugh the most in the world is my husband. He's freaking hilarious. There are so many times in one day where I will be like, I wish I just got that on video because it is so funny. He does things and stops and you I, you just like, did that just happen? Like, it's, it's it, he should be on TV. I am trying to get him to start a YouTube channel because he is that hilarious. Like people would watch him, I guarantee it. I am very against texting and driving. Don't do it, please don't do it. Uh, I make a point of not even texting my husband if I know he's on the road. Don't read your texts while you're driving. Don't you dare text while driving and try not to text other people if you know they're driving. That's all I'll say. So that is all. I hope this video wasn't too long for you. It was so much fun for me to do. My face kind of hurts from smiling. But yeah, if you want more like personal video tag videos, uh, give this a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments and hopefully you got to know a little bit more about me. Thanks so much. Bye.